My dear friends at Children's Flight of Hope, I apologize for the untimely thank you. We were very touched by your thoughtfulness and generosity. Truly amazing. In 2005, Justin was only three and a half years old when he was diagnosed with a rare form of pediatric cancer called neuroblastoma. The cancer invaded his neck, chest, pelvis, abdomen, eye, brain, and bone marrow. When he was first diagnosed, he was given a 30% chance of survival. He endured three years of high and low dose chemo, radiation, painful antibody therapy, frequent bone marrow biopsies, tests, and surgeries. He relapsed twice during those three years. Each time, his survival chance decreased by 10%. After his second tumor resection in his brain, cancer leaked into his spinal fluid, putting him at an extremely high risk of another relapse. In 2008, scans showed no signs of cancer. However, he remained on chemo because of the risk of another relapse. By the end of the year, chemo was discontinued due to the fear of development of a secondary cancer. During those three years of fighting for his life, Justin never complained, never. Not a peep about the nausea, pain, or the bubble I put him in when his immune system was shot. He is a true warrior and my hero. He has no idea how much he has taught me. I am inspired by his strength, which is why I am overjoyed to announce there has been no evidence of disease for over five years now. I'm in awe of him. I am looking into his future when I thought he didn't have one, and I embrace every single day I get to spend with him. I'm grateful for family, friends, doctors, nurses, and staff. And none of this would have been possible without Children's Flight of Hope helping us get from our home in Charleston, South Carolina to New York City where Justin's team of doctors were. Thank you so very much. Sincerely, Justin's mom, Janet.